Yo, what's up, guys? We all do know that Scum, especially the official service, is a pretty infected place when it comes to the cheaters, sadly. So me and my mates, we have come up with a few tips and tricks how you can prevent your progress from being thrown down by cheaters or in general how you can still play official scum service even though there's cheaters on there and it just makes the um, damage they do to you smaller so it's actually playable and as you see we did succeed on official server we have a pretty big base we have all loot money everything um most of it is just like loss prevention because you can't actually prevent the cheaters from doing damage to you but it has worked quite well for us. So we have three categories. First is vehicles and um, money. The second is items and loot. Well, basically the same, but you know what I mean. And the third one is accessibility to the trader via fame points. So starting off with the cars, we used to have a lot of amount, a lower amount of like vehicles in general in our base we are a 10 man at the moment and we do have two cars and a bike and when we find new vehicles we just use them to sell them to get more money because even though if our shit gets stolen or um used like stolen by cheaters and shit like that um we can still replace it just by buying new shit so that's in general also a good um method to save time and loot in general so Another thing is that you can use um, structures like these, which is a one-way ticket for the car. You can drive it in, but you can't drive it out. There's no way you can get over this edge over here with your car. And if people are actually getting that shit out of your base, you can report it to the devs, because that's one thing I need to actually um, highly appreciate when it comes to scum, is that the dev team or the administration team is pretty fast when it comes to cheater. Um, reports and they will check on you and like I said it's not possible to get over that edge with a car and we actually reported it once that our cars have been stolen without even the, the gate open so there was another another confession like we had still locks in the thing and the car was gone because they flew just out of the base right um, and the devs responded very fast and actually did ban them from the server so that's the first thing about the vehicles when we're talking about the loot, it's basically the same. We want to have a low amount of loot in the base, just what is actually needed. So um, don't have a excessive amount of loot in your base. Just sell most of the shit because with the money, which they can't steal, as long as they don't get your card and the um, pin code, you can always buy new loot. And that makes it so even if you're getting raided or if your shit, shit gets stolen by cheaters because they sometimes just fly into your base with no clip, take your loot and go out. Um, you can replace it just by buying new loot. Another thing that we're using is um, whenever we're logging off, we are filling our hands and backpacks with loot and log off with it because they can't get it then. And whenever you're logging back in, you still have that shit. You put it back into the storage boxes. So whatever is excessive loot that you want to store, you just chill with it and keep it in the base. And on that way, it can't be stolen, obviously. The third thing is when it comes to the fame points because obviously when we want to buy new cars or vehicles we need a lot of fame points but if you die a lot or if you're fighting cheaters which have aimbots you obviously also will die a lot um the trick we are using is basically a member that is not playing often in our um position it's gerald over here he's only playing i don't know maybe once a month um because he's not very active and he has other stuff to do but he's still you know spot over here and he's storing our fame points as you see he has 324 at the moment which he gained by mostly crafting ammo and also if he leaves the squad he can kill a few of our people gain more fame points we lose them but at the end it doesn't matter because he has them stored up and when we need it we can ask him to go to the trader for us and buy shit because he has the fame points for it and on that way, if he's never really playing, he also can't die, obviously, and he will keep his fame points, which we can use to go to the store. With that all being said, obviously, you can do a lot of stuff with your base, for example, fake entrances like that. With that being said, um, I hope that will help you a bit with the cheaters. I hope that 
it will get better in the future but like i said i'm very happy that the um, devs are actually very active when it comes to the um cheater reports and that they're actually banning people for cheating very frequently um and like i said i do really appreciate it it's very cool from them that they at least try to do something against it even if they can't really fix the the problem itself this makes them harder make, make it harder for the enemies uh for the <laughs> enemies i'm already stupid um just makes it harder for the cheaters themselves because they always need new accounts and need to spend money to get it okay was it been said all i hope you learned something new and find that stuff helpful and i'm gonna see you in the next one goodbye